It looked like Tay Austin Safarian Jenkins scored a touchdown to bring the Jets within three points of the Patriots with 831 left in the fourth quarter, but in a turn of events, it was ultimately ruled a fumble and a touchback. Three thoughts on the Patriots' 24-17 win over the Jets. One replay gone wrong. About halfway through the fourth quarter, it appeared the Jets scored a touchdown to cut the Patriots' lead to four with the extra point pending. Austin Safarian Jenkins took a pass from Josh McCown, and bullied his way through a few defenders, powering just across to goal line for what looked like his second score of the game. Under a replay review, however, officials determined that Safarian Jenkins bobbled the ball as he was going into the end zone, and that he hit the pylon when he technically did not have control of it. That turned Safarian Jenkins's second touchdown into a fumble and touchback. Despite the fact that the big tight end never actually lost the ball. You don't need to be the head of the league's competition committee to see that the call, while technically true to the letter of the law, violated the spirit of both the rule and replay itself. You can be sure that the competition committee will take a look at that rule, through the lens of Safarian Jenkins's non-touchdown, during the offseason. That brings no solace to the Jets.